Hey guys, Min here. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to make shadows in After Effects. We're going to want to start off by making a new composition. In your new composition, you can change the name of the composition to anything you like. In this picture, I have it named as Comp2. In your width and the height, I like to keep mine at 1280 by 720 because that is a 16 by 9 ratio, and that's the ratio that YouTube follows. My frame rate is at 25, because my flash animations are at 25 fps. If your animations are at 24 or 30, you can feel free to change it in After Effects, as After Effects has a setting for each of those key uh, frame rates. The start frame and the duration doesn't really matter right now, so you can skip that. The background color for mine is just black, and you should be good to go. In order to achieve a shadow effect in your animation, you're going to need a flat floor or a flat surface. In this case, I just went to Google and typed in HD Concrete Texture and it brought the first thing I could find and saved it. You're going to want to drag over the texture to the canvas. Now that your texture is in your timeline, you're going to want to click on the 3D cube symbol to make the layer into a 3D object. You should be able to move it in the X axis left and right, the Y axis up and down, and the Z axis back and forth. In the timeline, you're going to want to hit the little triangle next to the layer, and then click Transform. Set the X rotation number to 90 degrees, and that'll make the texture into a flat surface. The position layer is going to be your best friend in After Effects. The three numbers shown have the first number being the X axis, the second number being the Y axis, and the third number being the X axis. Now I'm going to bring the texture to the ground, and raise the scale so that it fits the canvas. You can just move it around and adjust it to the way you like it. Now I'm going to bring over an SWF that I made in Flash over to After Effects. To make your sprites look crisp in After Effects, we're going to click on these two symbols. Don't forget to tick this box to make it a 3D layer. Make sure to align the SWF with the textured floor. In this case, it would be Dez's feet touching the floor. To make a light source in After Effects, all you have to do is right-click the timeline and click New Light. There are four types of lights that you can make in After Effects. Parallel, Spot, Point, and Ambient. In this tutorial, we're going to be using point lights. Make sure to tick the Cast Shadows box. Ooh, now it's nice and dark. Now click the triangle next to the SWF and go down and click on Material Options. Where it says Cast Shadows, we're going to want to toggle the Off to On. And just like that, After Effects will automatically generate a shadow for the SWF based on where the point light is located. To move the shadow, simply just move the point light around until you get the shadow you want. To make the map not so dark, you can add in an ambient light and adjust the intensity of the light to your liking. Remember, whatever item you want to have a shadow in your animation, you want to turn cast shadows on in material options, like this desk map piece here. 